Hey, uh, I'm Marcus, and this is my video for reading week four. Um, so in this week, we only had four videos, <clears throat> so it's like four new topics. Um, they're a little longer videos, so there's a lot more information. Um, but like in the first one, we went over projectile motion. Um, and in that video, they mainly gave us more example problems um, involving all the different components, such as like mass, uh, three-part questions, things like that. So... Um, that video was a really good job. If you it did a really good job of like working through a problem with you, uh, it implemented a lot of coding, so it was giving you reminders like, okay, make sure you remember to put this in your code, or make sure you remember to adjust this, and explained why. Um, so that video was really helpful in that aspect. Um, now going into like the next couple of videos, we were talking more about predicting the future, not only for like falling objects, but just the future of motion itself. Uh, we went over uh, reciprocity, um, which is also referred to as Newton's third law. Um, so those are a couple topics that were uh, in our videos for this week. Um, now some of the ones that were more of a review for me, um, I've heard of Newton's third law before, uh, which is for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. Uh, so that's basically saying how um, even though there might be a force or just an action in one direction, there's going to be an equal force reacting on the opposite direction uh, of that force. Um, and the key word in that is equal and opposite. So that's just how I remember equal and opposite. So they're the same, but they're just going in opposite directions. Um, another thing that was a little bit of review for me was mainly the coding aspect uh, of the course. So uh, I've taken coding before, not, not, a, not a high level of coding, um, but enough to understand what's going on in this class so far. Uh, I understand what they're doing, moving the variables around, uh, making sure you have your updated variables and staying consistent. Um, so they're doing a lot of that and they're walking through it, walking you through it slowly, which is really helpful because coding is really tricky for me, so it's challenging, but um, I wouldn't say it's a new topic just because I've seen it before. Um, now some of the, um, but like the, I guess coding, uh, is a big part of my major. Um, I, I think coding is super interesting. Uh, I, have, I had a hard time with coding, um, but I really believe that I it's a main part of my major, so I, I really want to focus on getting better at the coding aspect of this course because um, I didn't know physics had a whole bunch of coding in it to begin with, um, but I'm kind of glad that it does because it adds a whole new angle and new aspect of oh, let me see if I can code this way and you know just different types of problems because um, you don't usually code these types of problems in general um, but yeah so that's a <clears throat> one avenue for my major um, and I know that when I did take my coding course um, YouTube was a huge huge help um, if you have trouble with that um, now topics that I have I had trouble with uh, I still need to get better at coding obviously but um, digression was a harder concept for me um, because I don't know if they just didn't go into depth as much of it or if I just um, didn't hear a whole bunch of it, um, but that was definitely seemed like it was really quick because um, they were talking about weight force and drag force and the, the arrows going opposite direction. Like, I understand the direction of the arrows. Um, I definitely just need to get better at you know the size of the arrows, um, things like that. Just may, maybe overthinking it a little bit because um, they have little things. Oh, where do I put the tail of the arrow? You know, what's the length of the arrow? They have um, the arrow scales and stuff like that. So. Um, that's, that's one area that I either need to refer to YouTube, refer to friends, or maybe someone understands the topic just a little bit better than I do. Um, but, I mean, it sounds like a, a an important topic, I, I would say. Um, but, yeah, so mainly in this week, we kind of went over just predicting the future again, as, uh, as I said before, as well as reciprocity and projectile motion. Um, <clears throat> so those are uh, basically the main ideas. Um, again, there's only four videos, so not a whole lot. Um, but yeah, so if anyone has trouble with any of the topics, kind of like I did, I would highly recommend YouTube, um, or maybe just phone a friend who might understand the topic a little better than you, because uh, people see things differently. Uh, so two heads are better than one, always. Um, but yeah, so that was basically the main ideas for week four. Um, and after this week, I guess we'll just move on to week five, and hopefully we uh, get a good start on that week. But I'll see you guys later.